Alrighty, if you look here at the top of screen, it says that's where the boat speed should be showing. Now we've not had correct boat speed for a while, so we've ordered in a new boat speed sensor. It also does temperature and depth, but they were working, but the speed wasn't. And we didn't want to get a speeding fine. No, we don't want a speeding <laughs> no. fine, so we need a new one. So I'm going to go down to the front cabin where it's installed, and I'm going to spin the little wheel. And Carol is going to tell me if it does anything. I will. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, I'm going to spin it now. Okay. We've got 0 0.1, 0 0.4, up to 1, 1 1.8, 2.5, 3.3. Yes, it seems to be working very well. Is it getting faster? Yes, 5.7, 6, 6.4, 6.6. Well, I'm calling that the goer. Yeah, I'm just spinning it with my finger at a rate of about, you know, 6.8. Two taps a second. We'll compare that with, uh, it stopped, we'll compare that with the current one when we pull it out after having a minor flood. <laughs> okay, folks, stand by for the next instalment. Is it recording? Oh, it seems to be the red flashy light. Red flashy light. Okay, let's get this undone. Yeah, right. Screw, screw, screw. I think you better. So I'm going to put my hand on it as soon as it starts squirting out. Yep. I don't know if it's undone yet. Yep, there it is. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. <sighs> Give me that. And three, two, one. That's in. So how much water's out there? About no, no, a couple of hundred mil. That's not bad, but it yeah. splashed a bit. We've got a bit up here. Yeah, I'll go and get some paper towel. Yeah, grab some paper towel for that. Good idea. Here it is. So that's the old one. It's it's clean enough. We will just check to see if it's working. Can I just dry my hands? I'm about to grab the iPad. So we've got the iPad mirroring the Zeus 3S display, so I'll grab that in a sec, bring it down here, here we go. Alrighty, here we are. You good? Yep. Okay, so there it is. You should be able to see that display. Let me just grab this. Okay, so are both in the shot? Can you see uh, on the screen, are both in the shot? Oh. You, you have to get your look? head down to an impossible angle, but it should be. Uh, yeah, it looks right? like it, yep. All right, here we go. We'll watch see what we get for boat speed. Now, you see that? We're spinning this. I'm spinning this at the same rate that I was the other one before. We've got 2.9... Guess what? Now, I wonder whether we've got a 400% factor applied to this. Ah, yes. I don't know if we have or not. Right, so to check that, we we'll go up here. Beep. And then again. And then network. Calibration. Boat speed. Calibrate boat speed. No, it's at a hundred. Well, there you go. So, just get out of there. See, I'm saying 2.1. That is not what we had before. I still don't think it's quite as responsive as... There's a little animal on this. Yes. That's working the same. See, I'm just doing this like this, just at a nice steady rate. Okay, here we are with our uh, test or uh, information about our boat speed sensor. As you can see up here, our boat speed is zero, but our speed over ground is 4.1. Uh, we have just cleaned the uh, paddle wheel 
So we'll now go into Calibrate. Here we are. Go up to Networks. Network. Oops, sorry about that. I'm looking at the screen and the and the phone screen. There we are. Boat speed. Calibrate boat speed. We are on a 400% correction and yet we still have zero water speed. Uh, I think that means the sensor is broken. Um, I'm just going to put it on auto correct and see if that makes any difference. Uh, nope. Okay, even at uh, 2400 revs and 7 knots, we've still got zero boat speed. Uh, this is at 100% uh, calibration. Okay. Everything seems to be 